really redundant because you've heard the same presentation three times already and some of the same stories. But I'll just begin. Hi, I'm Devin Curtis and I did a freelance internship. And this is Stephanie. She will be my interpreter today. <laughs> <laughs> You handled that the way so many of us handle that. I was like, what are you talking about? I'm just, and you have to deal with it. And introduce yourself. <laughs> so, how did I find my mentor? I was debating on whether or not to do my internship in California or New York. I was doing a field fair in California at Downey High School. But Brian kind of encouraged me to stay in Rochester because there's more resources and more opportunities and opportunities in this area. So I stayed in Rochester and had the mentors of Chris Kelly and Heather Gerber. We pretty much started off this internship full force. Within my first two days, I had 20 hours of work of both B and C. We worked the GVR RID conference. And this conference pretty much focused on how interpreters and deaf people should work together and become more as a team. And part of our roles were to communicate with everyone in the conference, set up chips and food, and just we were able to observe the workshops as well. How many hours did I complete? I had 71.75 A hours. B hours 185, and then 87 C hours. My eight hours, I spent most of them at Disney World with Monica and her sister. We went to Florida. <laughs> And I just have some pictures here. We would interpret shows, and our hands were up the whole time we were there. Whether we were just walking around and a little girl said something cute, mm -hmm. we would interpret what the little girl said, and just pretty much we were like vacation interpreters. <laughs> And 
also go to events. RIT has a lot of events, as the other students said. We had two students with us, and they let us know about all the events that were happening on the RIT campus. And we were able to see more events that way. And also, I went to France, and I contacted them. They go to the University of Rochester. From the University of Rochester, I had friends that I met at France. And they invited me to some of the sign up coffee chats. And I was able to sign with them and build connections that way. Also, bowling. Most of the time, bowling, you were just sitting around waiting for a lane to break, or a lane is supposed to be B lane, and they need to switch the, or ordering food or something. So if I wasn't needed, I would be chatting with people and trying to build connections with them. And also, I made sure at the end when I was leaving, I went and said bye, gave the people a hug that I felt like I had a connection with. What were the hardest lessons? It's not about you. <laughs> So if you're signing and you're thinking you're doing a great job, but the person's just not looking at you, it's not because you're doing a bad job or that they don't like you. It's because maybe they're having a bad day or they just don't want to pay attention. So don't take it personally if you don't have their full engagement. My low points. I had the same experience as Heather the day before, and like she said, this this woman came up and finger spelled her name super fast. I didn't catch it. I made up some random name, and she pretty much stopped talking to the person, directed all of her attention to me, and said, "No, you don't do that. You don't come up with some name, and you have to spell each individual letter." But Anyways, and then from that point she started saying, no, I'm just going to write no, and that really took a lot of my confidence away, and I couldn't interpret to save my life after she started writing things down. How'd I get through it? <laughs> I, told her, I told her that I wasted the past four years, all this money, I'm not an interpreter. Yeah, I had a pity party. <laughs> And she told me that, no, it's okay, keep going through it, it'll be fine. So from that, I kind of learned it's important to know who you can turn to in those moments. And then the next day, I was able to go back and face the same woman again. And this time I did a lot better. She, we had better communication, and it made me feel a little bit better that I could still have problems and get through them. What are my best memories from this experience? <laughs> so, just the group, the four Kika students and the two RIT students with our two mentors, it was amazing. Honestly, I never would have expected that a group could work so well together. I thought everyone would be extremely competitive and not let anyone share A hours and just because we all want to improve our skills. But it really, it worked out so nicely. We all have inside jokes now and just really got to know each other. So I'm really thankful for the group I have and support from them. And the reason it says Popcorn Pep Club <laughs> is because of their supervision meetings. Heather would always make us popcorn and other drinks and we just could sit down and really get to know each other on a different level than academics. <laughs> and she did. Um, we were able to meet with people from Swanson, and I learned that BRS shouldn't be something that you're afraid of. We hear all these awful stories about them, but really, you should try it. It was kind of helpful. Yeah, but when you're done trying it, remember the awful stories I've told you. <laughs> Directions, not what you think. I get lost. 
So maybe freelance isn't the best work for me because either I get lost trying to get there or I get lost on the campus and I'm late. But I learned that if I want to do something, I should go 30 minutes early. <laughs> and and it's okay to make mistakes. That's that's it. Just know that you're going to fail, but it's how you improve from those moments. My advice for next year's interns: complete those journals as soon as possible. <laughs> Don't wait last minute. Bring your computer and type them up as soon as you're done with it. <laughs> and then hands up time. I know for freelance it's kind of hard to get hands up time. Monica and I went to Disney to get most of our hours. So make sure you double check with your mentor that you will be able to get those hands up time and build that up, the, those hours. And it's okay. <clears throat> it's okay to not know what you're doing, because that's why we're students, and that's why we have this internship. So don't go into this internship thinking that you need to know everything. It's for everyone to learn. It's not okay. Real world. This is our baby steps. <laughs> Don't look at this career as a competition. Look at it as a language and a culture and everything that, I don't know what word. Just, it's not a competition, it's how you work together and improve communication, not whose skills are better or who can produce the best, whatever, it's not about that. And make the most of it. Enjoy it, it's your last semester. Thank <laughs> you.